Hey everybody, and welcome back to This Week in Bone Lab. Fallout has recently been taking the internet by storm as the new series has came out, and I've heard that it's really good, although I've never actually played Fallout. So today, instead of spending my time watching the show, I'm going to try and recreate Fallout with no knowledge of the series in Bone Lab. So let me know how I do, because there's a lot of really good Fallout mods to check out. We've also got plenty of other mods to check out in the later half of the video, so do stick around for those. With that said, let's jump straight into it. So first off, we're going to start with the map that I'm going to spend a lot of the episode on. This is Babelcorp's new map, Zenith. This place is absolutely ginormous and it's inspired by some Halo games. I've found myself already spending a lot of time here because I absolutely love the lighting and I love the geometry and vastness of this place. This is a really large map with a bunch of elevated areas, a bunch of underground corridors, and a few weird secrets. You can go really far out on the outskirts of the map too and there's even some small parkour sections. Honestly, gotta be one of my favourite Bavacorp maps already. I do encourage you to come check it out because there's plenty to see that I can't show in the video. Imagine if lag wasn't a problem in this game and you had like a 20 person deathmatch across the entirety of this map. That would be PEAK! So today I'm going to be announcing that we are all going to be going to the surface. But the surface is not safe so you guys are all going to need some other special weapons. Luckily we've got plenty at demand. And as you can see, we've stockpiled on ammo, and we are starting to get low on fruit, so be careful. Bring back everything you can. One of you lucky fellas is going to have access to our power armor suit. You'll also be supplied with one of these insane overpowered minigun things. We haven't quite thought of a name for it yet. But if we all work smart and as a team, then I'm sure we will prevail. But if you're ready, then give me a salute! Let's get out there. So here we have the Marine Combat Armor 8K by PC Genie. This avatar comes with tons of different skins. They're all the same model but have different designs, so you can pick your favorite. It even has stuff like a flashlight toggle and additional holsters. I didn't know this when I used the avatar, so I don't actually show them off here. And the gun we are using is the Fallout Gatling Laser Pack by Drax. This pack comes with two Gatling lasers. There's a smaller one which you just saw and this is the bigger one. These things are absolute monsters of weapons. They're also really loud. Although that honestly just adds to the feeling of sheer power. Just before we continue, I want to remind you guys that last week I asked you to spread the wigwam flowers around the whole of Bone Lab. And I got some really good results. Here's some of my favorites. So there's a bunch of different Fallout weapon packs that are uploaded to mod.io. Most of them are done by Nine Pearl Fangs. And today we're going to be taking a look at the ARs, the revolvers, and the shotguns from this person. Each pack comes with usually around four different styles of these guns, with different scopes, different magazines, all different types of stuff. Obviously without any Fallout experience, I don't really know how accurate these guns are or if they're good or anything, but I've got to say I've really enjoyed the unique reloads. Fallout are some really cool weapons. Here are the shotguns. I really like the colours and design on this one. Also includes this little baby shotgun. And I'll show these off at closer range in just a second. And here are the revolvers. Can't say I'm a huge fan of these. Although it's always satisfying to load and shoot one of these things. And here's what's got to be my favourite weapon pack by Nine Pearl Fangs. And that is the That Gun Pack. This one just includes a bunch of random guns, all of which are really cool. Fallout seems to have a thing for very satisfying and unique shotguns. I'm also a giant fan of this double barrel. You can't actually move it with physics, but you can always create the illusion that you are. It also has another small revolver. This one actually glows red when you're out of bullets, and glows green when you've got bullets in the chamber. Super cool. One of my favourite weapons here has to be the combat shotgun. This thing has this magazine and pull trigger thing at the front of the gun and you hold it behind all that. It's really weird and really cool and I absolutely love what it feels like. Here we have the Fallout 4 10mm pistol. This weapon's actually by PC Genie. 
This pistol feels very powerful when shooting. It's just got a really good kick to it. And that concludes all of the weapons. So why don't we suit up and drop in and show some of these weapons off in close range combat. I think we're all ready. So, how did I do guys? Did you enjoy my Fallout presentation? And that concludes all the Fallout mods for this video, but remember to stick around for more. Guys, I got patch 4 early. There's patch 4 cones. What is going on? Whoa, Ford, what happened? Oh my god, the gacha machine. It's, it's filled with cones. It's, it's got a wigwam cone in there. I'm not paying for that shit. Give it to me right now. <laughs> this is the patch 4 cone mod by TM2K. Although not exactly accurate, it's close enough. And also there's a wigwam cone, so I can't complain. This mod comes with a bunch of different patch 4 cones. And that's it. They don't actually do anything, but it's the patch 4 cone. What more could you ask for? An excellent mod, that's for certain. Here's a video off the subreddit. Somebody managed to somehow load Tuscany and Halfway Park at the same time. I so badly want to recreate this glitch because this is hilarious. Welcome to the King of the Ring map by Slimy. I've been meaning to check this map out for a while because take a look at these lockers. And guess who has one? That's right. It's even got tiny little Pikmin in there doing stuff, which is super cool. I love seeing my little dudes in Bone Lab. It's so surreal. I decided that it was time to get my clones to be a little bit more smarter and stronger. So that's why we have came here today. And that's to get our clones as buffed up as well as possible for an inevitable fight with Evil Wigwam. The map has absolutely all of the perfect tools and equipment needed to train up. And now it's time for a workout montage. There's a new update coming to the Doom Rip and Tear Pack by Hunter. This update will make the blade on the wrist feel better. And also the zombies are getting a pretty big update. You can now chop their limbs off and their limbs will actually fall off onto the ground. I can see people having serious fun with this. Thank you Hunter for sending me this early. Welcome to Stasis Bunker from Metroid Prime Hunters by Triangle. It's good to see some more Nintendo stuff in here. We seriously need more. I've never actually played Metroid, but damn, this place looks nice. Real big fan of the layout too. I've got to play Deathmatch in this place. There's also these launch pads. Sometimes they can send you absolutely flying, but for the most part, I found them really enjoyable. This place is also completely navigatable for enemies too. So I spawned in a bunch of null bodies across the whole map and just had fun running around the place killing them. And to do so, I was using the HK MP5 Customizable by Mighty Qbert. This SMG has a grip at the front which allows you to switch between a normal version and an attachment version. These also support Rexmex attachments. There's also multiple firing modes, from single fire to full auto to burst. I had a lot of fun with the burst. Super satisfying weapon. And I'm never a fan of burst weapons, but in Bone Lab just hitting that triple shot feels beautiful. Attachments work great on this thing, and it's a neat little thing I discovered. If you turn the attachment rails off while attachments are on it, and then turn them back on, it will save all of your attachments, so you can just put them away whenever you want. Here are Hook Swords by Grim Reaps. These Hook Swords are super satisfying, and I love how they operate in combat. 
Every single edge of this thing is a damn blade. And what I found myself doing most was sliding the entire blade across my enemies and then having them catch on the end of the hook, then allowing me to swing them around in circles on the edge of a bladed hook that is shoved up their ass. Yeah, it hurts. Oh. Also, skibbity machine uh, driving thing. Excuse me. Skibbity bot bot mobile coming through. Oh. Anyways. With that said, I think that's going to conclude this episode. I've been absolutely non-stop all week, so I've really struggled to get this video out. So I hope it was entertaining for you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you want to support me further, then become a member. Press that join button. Also, please go watch my underrated Burnlab creators in the Burnlab community. Put a lot of effort into that video, and if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'd like that one. Subscribe if you saw something you enjoyed today. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Big thank you to all of my current supporters. Vexy, Jojo and Chris, Shub, HandVR, Torski, Flamzy, Muttonuz, Frosty the Beastar, XD, Coztoons, Pie Lover, Harry Lol, Boardman Zick, Mystery, Flipper Flopper, Lealdo, Sardalini, Pudgefly Fox, Yoshi Cooper, Oddo, Sage of Kindness. You guys are all absolute legends.